let us now understand the demodulation at the receiving end. In the previous section, we have discussed that at the transmission end, a modulator is used to mix a baseband signal, which is a low frequency signal, with a carrier wave, which is a high frequency wave, and the output of modulator is the modulated signal. Which is obviously a high frequency channel, which is first amplified to increase its power, and from the transmitter it is transmitted into space. Here the size of antenna will be small because the actual wave which is being transmitted is the modulated wave, and that is a high frequency wave. Now at high frequency, again the receiver side antenna is also of Limited or small size length, which receives the signal, and for the signal is amplified within the receiver, and here this is the modulated signal, which is received by the receiver, which is a high frequency, and as the signal contains the information of baseband signal, there is a device we call demodulator, in which when the modulated signal is supplied. It extracts baseband signal from the modulated signal and removes the carrier wave, which is high frequency. So this is the way how the baseband signal is extracted from the received modulated signal and is further amplified and supplied to the transducer to be converted into the understandable format. So here we can write the demodulation. Is a phenomena which is reverse of the modulation, and here we can write the process of recovering baseband signal from high frequency modulated signal is called. Demodulation, and the device which is used for this purpose is called a demodulator. The electronic working of modulator and demodulator is beyond the scope of these lectures. In advanced sections for engineering physics and physics galaxy, we'll talk about the electronic circuitry of modulator and demodulator. How these are practically working.